Hello, my name is Mrs Goodbold and I'm here to explain to you why choosing history is such a great GCSE. Well, firstly, history isn't just about the past. It can link the past to the present and also help explain our future. You will also learn and develop many different skills, such as critical thinking, evaluation, analysis, making judgments, creativity and independent learning. These are skills you will be able to use during your GCSE and also in the future. And finally, you will look at a thousand years of absorbing and interesting history. So what is the structure of your GCSE? Well, your GCSE is made up of two different papers. The first paper is an international paper, and here you will study the war in Asia, 1950 to 1975. And also America, Opportunity and Inequality, 1920 to 1973. And that will be worth 50% of your GCSE. The second paper is the British paper. Here you'll be studying medicine through time from the year 1000 to the present day and also Elizabeth and Elizabethan society up to Elizabeth's death in 1603. And again, this will be worth 50% of your GCSE. Both assessments will be taken at the end of year 11. So what will you be actually studying? Well, you will start your study of GCSE around about halfway through year nine, where you will just have looked at the Cold War. You'll be able to use the skills and the knowledge here to help link to your GCSE. You will start with the war in Asia, looking at the roots of the Korean and American conflict, looking at those tensions that are still around today. You will look at the causes of the Korean War and the problems fighting, and also the impact of the war on the wider world and the Korean people. You will move on to the war in Vietnam, looking at why did America get involved? Again, what problems were they fighting the war? And why was there so much pressure on the US government to pull their troops out by 1973? You will then move on to the study of America, 1920 to 1973. And here you'll be able to draw many different parallels to today's society. For example, the Black Lives Matter protests, which have arisen over the past year. However, you will start your study in the 1920s. You'll be looking at the rise of the independent woman called the flappers. You'll be looking at changes to society such as cinema and jazz and consumerism. You'll be looking at issues such as prohibition and the rise of organised crime and the growth of intolerance. And then why America fell into depression by 1929. You will look at how it got out of depression and then move on to the impact of the Second World War. The boom of the 1950s, the birth of the modern teenager, and the impact of rock and roll on society. Finally, will be a study of civil rights, looking at key figures such as Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, and the impact that they had on many of the lives of the African American people. Finally, looking at the rise of the women's liberation movement from the 1960s up to the 1970s. You will then move on to the study of medicine, and this is a thematic study. This means you will look at a thousand years of medical developments, looking for similarity differences, change and continuity. You will start in the medieval era, looking at the ideas such as God sent diseases as a punishment, or that you were real because the four humours were out of balance within your body. And you will chart medical progress through the Renaissance into the early modern period and into the 19th and 20th century, looking at the creation of the NHS in 1948 and technological advancements such as CT, MRI scans and organ transplants. You'll be able to make more parallels to today when we look at pandemics such as the Spanish flu, the Black Death, and draw those parallels with the COVID-19 crisis that we are currently going through. We will look at the rise and development of the vaccination programs from Edward Jenner with smallpox, again, to today, and the COVID um, vaccination program. You will then move on to looking at Elizabeth. Elizabeth was a, a female ruler in a man's world, and she inherited the monarchy, um, which was in turmoil. Here, she was able to take um, England from that turmoil to being an absolute world power, beating the Spanish and King Philip with the, uh, and the Armada. Here you will learn about the development of exploration, science, technology and the development of the theatre. You'll be looking at the lives of the ordinary people and the problems they face with poverty and the changes to religion. So if this sounds like an interesting and useful GCSE for you, make the right choice and choose history. You can ask myself any further questions or, of course, your history teacher. Thank you.